it's uh, how to get away from all these fads and panaceas that float around these days and settle down and uh, get on to the long hard road to effective managerial leadership okay uh, what's the first let's talk about a fad what's really getting your goat uh, well, you mean which? <laughs> <laughs> which one? Well, uh, cross-functional teams, autonomous teams, re-engineering, uh, empowerment, uh, broadbanding is now coming up, the so-called competency approach, these are running at the present time, mm -hmm. and they like the seven-year itch, they keep coming back every seven years, they fade away and come back again. Right, now Dale, you see that, uh, I mean you must see different management styles and approaches. That's right, we call it the flavor of the month. Um, there's lots of entertainers out there, but very few that we believe ha who've been able to capture the science of management the way Dr. Jax has. Mm -hmm. And uh, we felt there was a need in the community to bring somebody in of Dr. Jax's uh, global stature and, uh, and his reputation is throughout the world, both in the public and private sector, I might add. So we partnered with IPAC, Institute for Public Administrators of Canada, and Darwin Mott Consulting here in town and the CFIB and the three organizations then were able to organize the event uh, yesterday. We had almost 300 people there, uh, minus 35 degree weather, first thing in the morning and they stayed in, in total captivation of Dr. Jacks for the full day and uh, I think we uh, we uh, kicked a few sacred cows yesterday <laughs> and uh, so maybe punctured a few myths. Somebody leave upset? <laughs> yes, a few <laughs> yeah. and some stayed upset. <laughs> well that's alright. Uh, it's said that here in Regina our fashion, uh, fashion taste slag New York's by about two or three years. Um, uh, what about business fashion? I don't believe it will be that gap. Probably a year. Mm -hmm. Well, what are we doing wrong? Up here? I don't want to dwell on yeah. the negative because I'm sure we're doing some things tremendously here, but how are some companies being suckered into areas that they should probably stay away from? Well, let me just make a general comment, if sure. I may, on that. One of the difficulties is that there's no real substantial knowledge, no concepts, no principles, no general ideas underpinning our approach to getting effective managerial leadership. The these so-called hierarchies have never been run well. That they're dominated by so-called bureaucracy in the negative sense. Everybody knows that. And so the current wisdom for the last 15 years or so is that we've got to get rid of them and it won't do for the new information age and so on. Mm -hmm. Now, without going into detail, that's simple nonsense. They're going to be around, and the real issue is to try to get a deeper understanding of what it's all about, mm -hmm. and not just to pass these superficial fads across as though this or that or that other trick is going to resolve all this. It's a matter of getting down to some more basic knowledge about their basic structuring, about basic issues of human capability so that you can match people to roles, and basic managerial leadership processes and to get away from this nonsense that management is necessarily autocratic and so on because it's not true it does not have to be that way I deal quite a bit in the communications and public right. relations and employee communication and uh, I've noticed there's a great deal of fear attached whenever you're talking about changes in management style or philosophy and re-engineering and mm -hmm. you look at AT&T mm -hmm. they've just decided that 40,000 people are no longer required throughout their organization these are really very serious issues and as far as I'm concerned these crises arise because in good times these organizations badly run become fat and then things get tough and you've got suddenly to get rid of all the fat you shouldn't have had the fat there in the first place if you were well organized and this is not the way to run the world it, people's I mean too many people's lives are affected at mm -hmm. stake here, all of ours in effect. Yeah, I, what about the difference between, I guess, you had business people there and you also had government people and mm -hmm. we assume that most governments are run like businesses. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they've, they've got a lot of dollars there in any yeah. event. Uh, is there a difference in mm -hmm. approach there? Well, organizationally, they ought to be the same. I mean, these are, mani I call them managerial hierarchies. It's a very fundamental type of organization. It's the kind of organization that's necessary if you're going to get more than 50 or 100 people together to work along common lines, common endeavors, and um, badly done in the public sector as well as in the private. So the battle cry we have been hearing is flatten the organization. 
for whatever. <laughs> Not from you. That's no, no. Well, <laughs> no. I mean, my battle cry is get the right number of layers for the organization. Flattening is just making pancakes, and that's what you get. <laughs> Back to basics in many ways means let the managers manage. But Dr. Jacks has really talked about what that truly means, what authority limits are all about, what proper authority to match responsibility is all about. These are very refreshing things for a lot of the people in the room to hear. Unfortunately, yeah. in the public sector, you ask about that. I s work with the public sector as a lobbyist and as an advocate of the private sector all the time. We always bump into each other. And I often see people who just don't have the authority levels commensurate with mm -hmm. the uh, long-term responsibility that one would think they should have. Mm -hmm. Boy, we c I wish we had more time. We yeah. have to go, you really? know. But we haven't even yeah, touched the question of leadership and vision and yeah. that kind of thing. But yeah. thank you very much for coming in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. I'll be watching as I go to bed early tonight. Okay, Dale will videotape the program <laughs> and send you highlights. Did you do that? <laughs> very good. Thanks again. Good. good. And uh, we're back with the entertainment file in just a moment right after this break.